checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to do an update on Pulse Rate on Pulse Chain. We talked about this project yesterday, and this project is it's doing well in terms of the farms. Okay, guys, they're going to be adding more farms as well, different pairs. All right, guys, which is something different because we've not really seen much of that on other Tomb Forks. So they're going to be adding other farms, maybe like a BTC farm, an Ethereum farm. Um, uh, what was it? another one, an Aave farm? Uh, perhaps okay guys i saw hints about that but um yeah this is still paying out some decent aprs the charts look like they may have you know bottomed out potentially right i'm not saying it is the bottom but i'm saying it looks more like a bottom when i talked about it before we were up here okay and now we're down here so i did buy some more of this and pop it into the farms okay guys and then we have the p share so you've got the p rate token p rate and then you have p share as well and both looking like they're bottomed out and, and volume is coming back into these projects uh, so, sorry to these uh these tokens okay guys so um go back and watch my previous video if you're not sure how this works um it's a tomb fork okay guys like i said i'm not here to give you a tutorial on how tomb forks work but um the farms are pretty self-explanatory in terms of what you can earn p rate Pair it up with PLS or wrapped PLS, you're earning 2,881%. That's 7.89% a day um, at the moment. Um, P share WPLS, they're the two, two pools that I'm in at the moment. Uh, that is a 3,928%. That's 10.76% a day. I did come out of the USDC WPLS pool. Okay, guys. And obviously, remember, when you go into this pool, there is a deposit fee. Where's the deposit fee? He did show it before. Oh, we're on the wrong page. If we go over to staking, so the deposit fee is 2%. I came out of that pool, okay, guys, because Pulse Chain was pumping. I wanted to convert my PLS into, sorry, my USDC into more PLS. Um, so Pulse Chain and PLSX are pumping, by the way, um, or at least they have been temporarily overnight. Um, but yeah, um, we are in these pools, okay, guys, one, two, and then you've got a bunch of other pools as well that you can take advantage of. 10%, 9%, And right now, as well, the APR came down on this one because a lot of people have, of course, jumped into it. So that's down to 473%. I believe it was about 600% at the time that I was in it. No, it was 4% a day, actually. It was 4% a day. But, um, yeah, this is still printing at the end of the day. The boardroom was paying out about 35% a day. It's come down to about 108 one eight percent a day which is still very high okay it's still degen three thousand seven hundred and sixteen percent okay guys so ten percent a day is not bad at the end of the day but you do have to wait around 24 hours or is it every four epochs three epochs so um you can claim your reward every three epochs which is 18 hours every time you do that it resets the timer as well which is why, why i've not gone into the boardroom I just basically claim my rewards and sell them, to be honest. I claim the rewards and sell them into USDC so I can track exactly what I'm earning. And then if you want, you can convert that into PLSX or PLS or whatever. All right, guys. So, yeah, in a nutshell, our pulse rate is still looking pretty good. Okay, guys, TVL is 465K. That has come down slightly. All right, guys. And that's basically down to you know the price action okay a lot of people would have taken profit they would have sold and the pre-sailors did get airdrops as well so there's going to be some selling from pre-sailors i wasn't a pre-sailor but yeah clearly some selling from pre-sailors as well that is they they are vested by the way but yeah this looks like it could be a bottom for this token or for both of these tokens right the p share token is going to be the more volatile token okay um nine times out of the ten the strategy is to farm to earn p share rather than buy it a lot of people like to buy it anyway because you get it quicker and they do um pretty decent aprs on they normally do you, you normally get higher aprs as well on the p share but um also you can only state p share in a boardroom so if you want to go in the boardroom you need to have p share and you might not want to wait to farm it you might just want to buy it and just pop it in a boardroom for 10 percent a day but uh, right now you can farm for 10 percent a day only difference is is you need to pair up for liquidity to do that so you know each one to their own everyone's going to have their own strategy there's a bunch of pools you can take advantage of some of you might want to just take the safest bet pair up some pls with usdc or wpls sorry 
with USDC, pop it in here. There is a 2% fee and earn 1.3% a day. You know, a lot of us are in Drip Network, for example, earning 1% a day. Uh, you can't actually take your, once you once you deposit your Drip into Drip, um, it's, uh, it's sunk. So you can't pull out your initial deposit. The only way you can get it out is through the passive income, your daily returns. But on here, you know, if you want to, you can pull it out with a 2%. Obviously, there's a 2% fee going in. There's, uh, I don't believe there's a fee to come out, but you can pull out your, you can pull it out of the farm if you don't want to be in anymore. But in the meantime, you can earn a 1.3%. And, and that doesn't expose you to the volatility of P share or P rate. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on this project um, because it is still printing and it's looking good. The team are doing their thing. If we go over to the Telegram, the team are doing their thing. Let's see what they're saying here. New pairs announcement. Okay, so yeah, they are going to be doing the new pairs, but we don't know what they're going to be at the moment. But I did see them say something about RV um, very briefly um, somewhere, um, if I'm not tripping. Okay, um, but yeah. Guys, I'm going to leave the links in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you're in this already. Let me know how it's going. It looks like we've got a video. Uh, Stunner, Stunner Breezy. Stunner just posted a video on this as well. Um, so that should bring a lot. Should bring a lot of uh, eyes onto this project as well. Obviously him being, you know, a big drip. Drip network whale. All right, guys. So. Yeah, looking good, guys. I want to leave the link in the description. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.